Okay, so in this example, I want to cover creating a list of dates. Let's just put it at the end. Okay. Let's say that our project is starting on the 1st of January 2020 and the duration of the project is maybe 15 days. So how do we do this? We can write equal to sequence. Remember, sequence is a function that is only available to Microsoft 365 users. In case you're working on 2013, 16 or 19 office, you might not have this function with you. It asks us for the rows, columns, start and step. Now the number of rows that I want is written in C3. The number of column is one. The starting value is C2 and the step value is one again. What does it do? In one single formula, it has managed to create for us a list of dates starting from the 1st of January till the 15th of January. Very cool, right? And if you change this number, you notice that the list of dates automatically change as well. Now, assuming we have some numbers here. So I've written some numbers between 100 and 200. Now think about it. We have these numbers between 100 and 200. Let's just call this the sales value. If I want to find out all the dates from this period, whose sales is between, let us say 150 and 175. Let us quickly apply a filter. So we say highlight between 150 and 175. And as you can see, there are six cells or rather six dates that have this value between 150 and 175. Now, how do we extract only these particular dates from this range? We can write filter. Again, like sequence, filter is also a dynamic array function. You need to have Microsoft 365 to be able to use it. What is our array? Now, my array is going to be F2. And I'm going to select F2 colon G16. And from this, it says which one of these values do you want to include? Now, the values that I want to include would be G2 to G16 greater than 150. But because we also want to say that they have to be less than 175, I'll put an and and then say that G2 to G16 also has to be less than 175. And that doesn't give me the result. So let's quickly check if we need to change something. Okay, let me just try this with a single criteria first and then we'll see how to add the second one. So we'll keep a single criteria like this and we get the result. So if you notice it is telling us, let me change it to date. It is giving us a list of all the dates that are greater than 150. Now, because we want to find this for all the values that are less than 175, we can Let's see, we can put this inside parentheses and then multiply this by G2, G16, less than 175. And once we've done this, you notice we only get the six states that were between 150 and 175. Very cool, right? Watch this. By using a simple array multiplication, we have multiplied all the values that are greater than 150 with all the values that are less than 175 as well. And the only six values that meet this condition are these six. Now we can also keep this 150 and 175 dynamic. So I can write 150 and 175 here, and then I can choose those cells. So this would be M2 and then 175 would be M3. And now very smartly, the user can choose the min and the max. So the user says 100 and 200. And obviously let me change the format as well. Every single value, has been extracted, right? So we get all these values. And if I say, in fact, let's make it not greater than M2, let's make it greater than or equal to, and this can be less than or equal to. I think that makes sense. Excellent. 
So you notice that it is giving us a list of all the records because every single record falls within this range, which is 100 to 200. But the moment our user changes it, if the user says, okay, you know what, 125 and 150, there are only two values that are between 125 and 150. Very, very handy when you're working with uh, an example or a problem where you want to extract certain dates that only meet a specific criterion. 